Hey guys, how are you? I new brushes launched today. This is how terrible of a person I am, right? Uh, let me move the shake so I don't like dump it completely. I don't know. Why. I'm gonna dump it anyways, just trying to move it so that I don't dump it, but it's fine. Um, so a couple months ago, I won an incentive and I got these brushes. To be honest, I didn't even open them. I pulled them out of the box this morning because they launched on the website this morning. So I want to give them a try and I want to tell you my honest opinion of them because they're really affordable and I like that, okay? But here's the thing is if I don't like them and they don't work as well as something else, I'm really going to tell you, okay? So they have the Kabuki brush right here. It's $8.90. They have this um, concealer buffer. I've never heard of this, but we're gonna give it a try this morning. It is $8.90. They have the eyeshadow blending brush that's $5.90. Hey, Courtney. Um, so I feel like all of those are really comparable with any brushes that I would get anywhere else. We already had this double-sided brush. I'm gonna dump this shake. Um, which would be tragic if I dumped the shake because there's literally stuff everywhere because I sold some furniture in here and everything's on the floor. But, and then there's this one, it's only $6.90 and it's a double sided that you kind of see me use a lot because I really like it. But this is the one that I'm most interested in because here's my thing, it's really soft. Um, my other brushes like this, they're a little stiffer. You see how that one doesn't like push down? This one like really pushes down. So I'm kind of curious to see how this one will work because the ones from Amazon, the Kabuki style, they, they are a little softer, but they seem a little fuller. I don't know. <clears throat> so this one's a little strange to me, but I'm gonna use my CC cream because hey, Erin, that is the one that I have used the most with a brush. So I wanna kind of see the application and how it goes on compared to this. Any other time, I just put this directly on my face and then I um, just buff it in with the brush. So we're going to see how well I like this brush because you guys, it is $8.90. So I feel like any face brush for under 10 bucks is a really good deal. I do have on my primer and moisturizer. So I'm just gonna do it the exact same way that I would do it um, with um, any of the other brushes. I just kind of dab it in. I really need to get my other foundation that is darker. This one is definitely too light, but it's fine. It's my winter shade, okay? Okay, this brush <clears throat> um, is not soaking in the foundation at all. Um, so I feel like I have too much foundation on my face. This is the amount I always use. Um, I am not, do you guys see how dark this eye is today for whatever reason? I didn't sleep well last night. I couldn't stay up until product launch and then I kept waking up thinking I was going to miss out on the whitening toothpaste. You guys, I have entirely too much foundation on my face. <laughs> you guys, this is insane. Um, this brush is um, really good. It's really soft. Um, and it just feels like it's buffing it instead of, <clears throat> I don't know, really pressing it, you guys. But, um, oh my gosh, I just got my brow. Dang it, I have way too much foundation on. Holy cow, you guys. This is the story of my life. This this is the part that I did not expect when I went live was to have to use less foundation, um, which actually is a really great problem to have, except for the fact that I already put the foundation on my face and I'm not willing to um, <laughs> do anything about it. You guys, okay, so the brush is a win for sure. I gotta get it out of my brow and then redo my brow. You guys, this is my day. Is way too much foundation. Like I feel like I need to <laughs> use another brush. Oh my word. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> don't use as much foundation as you normally do with this brush, okay? Because it's clearly not soaking in as much as my other brushes. Holy cow. It's literally Sorry, I had to turn the Wi-Fi off. You guys, this is insane. Okay, the coverage of the CC cream is still awesome, um, but definitely use far less with this brush, which again, is a good thing, but it was just um, really surprising. Like these are the things that I should probably use um, prior to coming live so that I can do it right. But what fun would that be, right? Um, we're just gonna get this. I literally use the exact same amount as I have with every other brush and every blending bud. 
And it was, I'm assuming the brushes did not soak it in the way that other brushes do, which is kind of crazy to me because like, how does that work? And now we're having to redo my brows because it literally got everywhere. You guys, I promise I did not use more foundation than what I typically do. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so happy Thursday. <laughs> how is everybody? I wanted to try all these brushes out but holy cow, now I'm really scared. Um, I don't know why I'm so scared, but um, that was literally a disaster, I feel like. Like, is someone going to be like, oh my gosh, she has on so much makeup today. I'm going to be like, hey, it's the same amount as always, okay? It's a brush. It's just like a super fantastic brush, I guess. I don't know, but the coverage looks great. It blended really, really well with the brush. But holy cow, you guys, seriously, this is the story of my life. Oh gosh, okay. I haven't been wearing any lip products, basically because the trash wasn't taken out, but it's not right. Yeah, so here's, <laughs> our trash day is switching. We've been here for like almost nine years and our trash day has always been on Fridays and next week it changes to Tuesdays and I'm like, I'm not certain what that means for our trash. Like, will it ever be taken out? Because Who's going to remember on a random Tuesday to take out their trash? Probably not me, okay? Probably not me. All right. So we're going to try the Concealer Buffer Brush. Um, this is a weird thing for me because I always do a blending bud for my concealer. So I don't know, you guys. If, if this is a disaster too, I'm taking off all my makeup and I'm going to work with none because it's just too late um, to fix this problem, right? Okay, I wanna lift this eye and I wanna highlight just a little there. I try not to do too much of a huge triangle because then for whatever reason, it makes me, um, it points to my cheeks and it gives me really chubby. My mom says Wednesday, like what? Set a reminder on your phone. Yeah, I'm gonna have to set a reminder on my phone to remind Kyle to do it because trash is not my thing, okay? It's just not my thing. I don't touch the trash. Okay, so we're gonna try this brush. I don't know, it seems weird. Oh, it's really, okay, so it's really soft. And I thought what it was gonna do is just like move my foundation around, but it didn't. It really left the concealer product there. Oh, you guys, can I be really honest with you right now? Um, I have the other pharmacy brushes and this is the only one that you see me use because I just, um, if I'm being honest, I just haven't been super impressed. You guys, I have a lot of brushes. Okay. So for me to say anything about brushes, um, like I have brushes, all right, like lots of brushes. Like I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight mason jars full of eye brushes plus another little decorative jar full of brushes. And then I have a box that's like this big full of just brushes poked in there coming up. So if I say a brush is good, um, a brush is good. I've never used a brush for concealer. I think I'm going to start because I really like the way this blended out. Um, it didn't, and you kind of can push it a little bit without really pulling and tugging on the eyes. Sometimes I feel like the blending bud really kind of is a little, it's not harsh, but you know what I mean? Like you're kind of tugging at it. I don't want to tug at that really delicate skin. So um, I, I think I like this. I think I like it a lot. Um, and this one was $8.90. So I don't like, I just like how soft it is, how gentle it is and how well it blended. And again, it didn't take off the makeup. So that's a win for me. Um, I, I really do like both of these brushes, um, but definitely be careful with how much foundation you're using with that one because, well, it's kind of scary, okay? Yeah, okay, so then I'm, this is the older brush, but it's still on the website, it's 690, and this is when I just kind of come in and mix both my um, powders. This is my face uh, sculpting palette. Um, I really like it. Have a good day. You didn't, you didn't have a coffee cup in here. Yeah, it must be much okay. All know. of his and mine. There There's wasn't one, one to go. It must be behind the seat of my truck. 
the other day whenever we were going through our kitchen he literally was like throwing out all the lunch boxes and i'm like whoa babe i need those he's like there's one kid here why do you need three lunch boxes i'm like well because they don't always make it to the kitchen right you ended up with a rat tail today i ended up with a rat tail that's yeah. truly I'll fantastic here, here and then the one goes down two curls go down <laughs> Okay, now we're going to have to do something with the rat tail. Um, so he is um, like, you don't need three lunchboxes. And I'm like, well, but Dryden doesn't always get them back in the house. Or sometimes he forgets them at school. And I want him to be able to, you know, have a um, lunchbox, right? And he, like, thinks I'm completely ridiculous. And then today there are no coffee cups. I, he has his. And then literally he has all of mine, too. It literally isn't, which is why you didn't have coffee today. Well, I'm making one in a to-go throwable Kuwait cup. Oh, I did forget that we have to-go ones. Uh -huh. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Okay, so I really, really like this brush a lot. Um, I like that it is just um, super soft, and I really love the small end for, like, areas that you really want to, you know, contour, do all the things, whatever. Um, so I really do like this. Let's put some blush on. Um, right over top of that, we're just gonna add a little shimmer, but not too far down, because for whatever reason, it just makes my face look even more big. I don't even, like, more full, I guess. Okay, there we go. And then let's take a little bit of this highlighter. I'm just using the same brush, y'all. I can't even worry about it. We're just using the side of it for this. So, hook it in the side. Uh, that does not have a mirror. Pharmacy doesn't have the machine that puts mirrors in palettes. And I can't wait until they do because they said that it's coming. and Because I would love a mirror in this. But I also don't want it to be more expensive. So, yeah. There's that. I'm so cheap and weird. Okay. One more brush to show you. This is the... What was it called? Um, eyeshadow blending brush. 590. I think that's really great for a blending brush. Um... Usually I like a little bit fuller one, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I do like the way it feels because it's not um, super soft like the other one. So I feel like it's going to grab product. I'm just going to use this one because, well, we don't have a lot of time today. And then I'm going to put it in my crease and just kind of go over. Oh, I really like this. It did. Like I said, it wasn't so soft, so it did really grab the product. Sometimes if a brush is too soft, I just feel like it won't grab and then I feel like it has a lot of fallout, right? So sometimes it's the shadows that give you that fallout, but sometimes I feel like it's the brush. That makes sense. I really like this one because no fallout, which with most pharmacy eyeshadows, I can use any brush with no fallout. Um, but I really like this brush. Okay, so <laughs> I honestly, here's the thing about me is, um, Sometimes I like to tell you that I don't like something because I want you to know that I'm being honest with you. Um, I won't come on here and show you a product just to sell it to you if I don't love it, right? Um, you only see me really use the products that I really love. Um, and the rest, you know, you don't have to love everything, right? You're not going to love everything of every line of every brand that you've ever tried, right? You have your favorite things. So I honestly thought I would come on here and this would be the item that I would say, well, I don't, it's okay, but this is a better option. I really like this for price, for quality. I think it's really good. You didn't see me talk a lot about the other brushes because they were a little bit more expensive. They came in a set and to be honest, they were just okay for me. They just weren't like top of the line, amazing kind of thing. I really like these. Um, so I'm just going to use the side of this. I'm not saying you're right. What? So you do have all the coffee mugs. But you may not be wrong. <laughs> what are you doing? Those are all of mine. And here's the thing too is I didn't know I had two pink ones. Oh, you didn't know there was two pink ones? I know I had one pink one and one white one, but apparently he oh. may or may not be right with the shopping thing is I have two pink ones and a white one. He has all three of mine and his. He's holding them all right now. Oh gosh. So I'm just taking this brush, the same brush. So you guys, you don't have to be um, 
this person that uses 17 different brushes for one eye look, you can just use the one and go from there. Okay, but I really love this just for the fact that you can kind of do your whole face. Um, let's do just a little bit under eye. I'm just doing it in the lightest brown. Same brush, you guys. We're not getting super fancy today because we don't got time for it. You guys, yesterday, the day before, and today, I've woken up just like weird. Like, I don't know what's happening. Like, I don't know. It's not that I don't feel well. I'm just like, I don't feel like me, and that's kind of weird. I don't know if that even makes sense, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, so you guys, there's all the brushes, and surprisingly enough, I really like them. Pharmacy does have this set that is like purple. Um, it's okay. Um, it's not terrible, but you don't really ever see me use them. I prefer my um, Jaclyn Hill or my ColourPop ones better. Um, but I really like this because honestly, if you could do your whole face with just four simple brushes, this is kind of a win for me, especially if you're traveling, if you're going somewhere this summer, you can throw minimal things in the bag and then have more room for shoes because I really feel like that is an important thing. Um, other things that we came out with today, um, the energy stuff from the full moon. Oh, when was the full moon? Is it coming? Maybe that's it. Because I literally just like this morning I woke up and thought I might cry. And then I thought, why would I cry? I don't know. I, well, I'm not going to cry. But then like at any moment, I just feel like I might cry. Yeah. Yeah. I might cry. Like literally just talking about it, my eyes are getting a little glossy because I'm like, maybe I'm going to cry. I don't know. I like feel kind of emotional a couple days ago. That's probably it because it's literally been yesterday and the day before. I'm going to have to look to see when the full moon was um, because I, uh, it was, today's Thursday, it was Tuesday. Tuesday was the first day that I was just like, I don't feel right. Like something's weird. And I definitely believe the moon has so much to do with how we feel um, because literally if the moon can move the ocean, our bodies are comprised of so much water that I cannot even fathom thinking that the moon does not change things in me with its cycles for sure. Like I am a firm, firm believer in that. Um, this is a Limitless Mascara. I don't even think I'm going to do lashes today. I'm just going to do this. But so I bet it was the full moon. Um, it's so crazy how that can just affect everything. And I don't even know it. And here's the thing too is I have the Mirena IUD birth control. So I do not have my cycle. And I never was really a person that had a lot of symptoms with my cycle um, other than the bleeding. Um, so whenever I started the Mirena and it stopped the bleeding part, I don't know when it is. But sometimes I can kind of tell if like I'm more emotional, um, I'm kind of like, oh, I bet it's my time of the month, even though I don't really know that. So then I kind of was contributing this whole mood thing to maybe that was it. I didn't really know, but it was kind of different than just being emotional. It was kind of just not feeling like myself. My Mirena was literally the best thing that ever happened to me. I got it after I had Dryden and he is 13, so I'm working on, I had one whenever he was born, and five and 10, so yeah, I've had three, because now they say that you can go even longer, which is awesome. I'm like, thank you very much, because I really do not like having my hoo-ha poked by the guy. I already do that anyways, and I just don't love it, so, you know, it's just awkward and weird. My daughters are to that age where they're kind of talking about seeing a gynecologist, and then she's like, but mom, I Googled what they do and they put this huge thing in there and just like spread it open. I'm like, well, I mean, it's not a huge thing. <laughs> the conversation was um, really pretty hilarious. Um, <laughs> I couldn't handle her. So then she's like, I can't make the appointment, mom. I can't do it. Um, I, I just don't want to. I'm like, well, no woman wants to, but it's a necessity, so you're going to need to do it. But she was completely traumatized. Here's the thing about my childhood. I went through my whole childhood and teenage years in my 20s with no internet. 
So I didn't have a lot of fear, right? Oh, Courtney, I love that. Um, but I didn't have fear of everything. Literally, I have my kids so terrified to go anywhere because I'm like, if you're on your phone outside and you're not paying attention and you're texting through a parking lot, you're probably going to get kidnapped and sold into sex trafficking. Is that what you want? Be aware of your surroundings because bad things happen. And before the internet, we didn't know bad things happened. I mean, I think we knew that, but they definitely didn't happen where like I lived, right? Because you didn't hear about it. Every other day I'm seeing the Walmart that's seven minutes from my house. Someone's following them around. Someone's trying to get them in the parking lot. Like crazy stuff in a town of like not that many. Like, I don't know, 12,000, 15 maybe. I don't know how many people are there. But for real, I'm just like, what the world is happening? So like the internet has like just brought so much fear. Um, and it's just kind of insane. But okay, so there's my look today. Super simple, super easy. And I definitely recommend the brushes. So um, you can add them on, you can do all the things. Oh, and on the website too, if you click on new arrivals, they have some lash scissors and then they have some lash applicator things. So I have this one right here, but I, I did buy the pharmacy one um, just to kind of see if it's better or different because this one came with like, you know, a $2, $5 set of lashes or something, I don't know. Um, So I did get both those things. And then the new whitening toothpaste, um, People were, top leaders were able to um, order a, couple, a week or so ago. So they started getting it. They're posting pictures of one use of it. And I my mind is blown. Um, I used the AP24 toothpaste forever. Um, and then I did end up switching to the pharmacy tea tree because I just felt like the AP wasn't working and why not support my own self if it's not really working anyways. Um, so I switched to the pharmacy tea tree and I've been using it for, you know, a year or so. And, but I'm really, really excited about the whitening because I'm the person who's always trying to whiten and do weird things and all, all the things. So here's the brushes. Um, I love you guys. I really like this one. And it's $6.90, you guys. Here's the thing, too, is if you guys have signed up as a beauty influence under me, all of these are half off, which is amazing, right? Because whenever I looked at the site, one of them was like $2.45 or $2.95 or something, and I was like, what the world? I'm like, yeah, add to cart. I'm like, I already have it. Why did I add that to the cart? Because it's only $3. I don't know. I don't know why I do the things that I do, but... I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys for hopping on, for jumping on. Um, what's really funny is that there are people that are just now noticing that I'm not on Facebook and I haven't been on there for like half a month, like two weeks, and they're just now noticing. Um, I'm not really feeling the love, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but um, I think that I have 15 or 16 more days left of my Facebook ban. And until then, I'll be here. Hanging out, doing all the things, trying to build my Instagram, which I literally suck at. So I love you guys. <laughs> Have an amazing day. Bye.